First of all, we're just going to go ahead and, and, and take our hands on the grip. And as we uh, set up, we'll see the, the little orange cap right here. You can either uh, aim it to the center of your belly button there. You can aim it a little left if you want to kind of set the uh, hands a little head there to dress. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. But uh, we get into our setup position here. Now what we want to do is we want to cock the left wrist up and fold the right elbow at the same time, placing the reference bar on the inside or the top of the left bicep. Now you remember how with the power angle, familiar with it, we put it on the right bicep. Well, swing factor, it's going to the left, sitting right above the elbow joint right there, okay? So the first exercise to kind of get used to that is just set up here and it's uh, just like you cock your left wrist up and fold your right arm until it sets right on the uh, bicep, the left bicep, okay? Do that a few times, uh, you'll be able to hit it pretty easily. When you first uh, start doing this, uh, it looks simple, but I mean you might, you know, go here, there, or whatever, but it doesn't take very long. So anyways, we want to do that first. We want to get used to just doing this right here, okay? Now, the steps to practice with it, okay? We just take our setup. Again, now I set the, uh, uh, the actually the, the orange knob a little bit to the left of my navel. That's how I set up. So as I set up here, I'm going to set it a little bit left there. And I'll start my upper body takeaway. And then I'm going to start cocking the left wrist up and folding my right arm from the elbow joint, placing the swing factor reference bar on that left bicep there, and then I just continue up to the top of the See, back. what happens with a lot of golf swings is uh, we see a lot of this fanning and, and turning the, you know, just rolling the club inside and stuff. And what we're trying to do with the swing factor is take the uh, forearm rotation out of the golf swing. And what I mean by that is that we're not uh, opening it up and closing it at impact. We're letting the function of the body, the cocking of the left wrist and the folding of the right arm, to actually um, set this position here and then when I come on the downswing I'm straightening my right arm which puts it right back to where it was when we started okay so back swing one more time we're gonna go ahead and take our setup here as we start our upper body rotation start cocking that left wrist up let that right elbow bend boom it's right there right on that bicep Continue the rotation uh, top of the back swing. Famous things that Ben Hogan said was he wished he had three right hands. Well, basically, that's straightening the right arm out at impact. And that's what we're going to talk about next is the downswing. Okay, so we've mastered the back swing. It's real simple. We know that we just place the bar on the left bicep just above the elbow joint there. Okay, so on the downswing, what typically happens is people uncock the wrist too early, and you'll notice that this orange cap here. If you look at the center of my chest here, if I uncock my left wrist, it's going to go over to the right or cross over my chest and go that way, okay? That's an early release, cast, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't work. What we're trying to do with the swing factor here is we're going to slowly straighten our right arm out at impact, okay? And as we do this, this orange cap will never cross over the center of our chest. Now watch how this is done. From the top of the back swing, as I shift to the left, drop my right shoulder, left one goes up a little bit, I'm going to slowly straighten my right arm out. All we're doing is straightening out the right arm, and it's, it's a slow motion, you know, just a gradual motion impact. So we're trying to kind of time it up, just like that, here, never letting this release early, and as I straighten my right arm out, and you're going to feel that the swing factor just kind of falls this way. Boom. And you'll see this arrow right here. And this arrow will be at a perfect 90 degree angle to my target line. And also you're going to see how uh, if you look at the swing factor, it looks like it's exaggerated as far as the club shaft leaning left. It really isn't that, that much when you look at the hands. But as we come down and release into impact, that will be 90 degree to our target line. And we continue to follow through. We're getting this condition here, right there, that little cut wrist that they call it. Okay, that's happening because we're placing this on the inside of the left, on the left bicep here. And as we come down, we're straightening the right arm out. 
This puts it back into this position. This is that Hogan position as he comes in. Impact right there. You've seen that picture a million times right there. Boom. 